Hey guys, Rolando Rodriguez here with xgains.com. We got workouts that work, eats that satisfy, and everything else you need to reach your lifestyle goals. So as Christmas approaches, uh, I thought I'd make a review on what not to get. And let's cut to the chase. It's the Apple Watch. Um, to be honest with you, I was super stoked that it was coming out. I was bought it on the day it came out. I got it the day it came out, shipped to my house. Um, used it a lot during the summer when I was doing a lot of cardio work. Uh, specifically running anywhere from three to five miles a day after my workouts. Uh, long story short, pretty much if you are wanting to get the Apple Watch to track your fitness and all you do is pretty much run or jog, awesome, get it. But if you're cross training or weight training or doing interval training or if you're doing circuits or let's say even I'd say kickboxing, the truth is the Apple Watch stinks. It really, really does. This is coming from somebody whose entire life is owned by Apple. I, they got me hook, line, and sinker. All my products are Apple, and I really, really wanted this bad boy to work. But because I'm so uh, focused on sort of tracking my fitness, it was a huge part and a huge selling point when I went to get the Apple Watch. I came from the Moto Active that didn't integrate itself with my other Apple products. Well. Long story short, the Moto Active isn't made anymore. Um, mine broke because my kids like to throw stuff at fans. They threw it up and it landed and it cracked. <laughs> Anyways, I wore my Moto Active with a heart rate monitor strapped to my chest and I was super stoked with the Apple Watch having it built in. Um, long story short, we haven't found any product really that has a built in heart rate monitor that you wear on the wrist, the optical ones, that function or are as accurate as the heart rate monitor from a chest strap. When running and jogging, these wrist-based heart rate monitors are pretty solid, okay? I compared it to my heart strap monitor and it was within two beats. I'm not that anal, so if my heart rate, the strap was reading 160, the watch would read 158 or 162. On all, it would average out. And the calorie burn and the heart rate was more or less averaging out to equal on both my wrist watch, my Apple watch, and my heart strap. Um, anyways, that being said, okay, I mostly do weight training exercises. And the heart rate is dropped all the damn time. I mean, you, anytime that you're lifting your hand above your heart, or if you're keeling over, or if you're pumping and you're punching, anytime that you're doing motions that aren't a repetitive, just jogging type back and forth, it's gonna lose the heart rate, okay? I will say that a benefit of the Apple Watch is that it underestimates in calories, okay? Calories burnt, meaning where other fitness trackers were say, hey, you burnt 1,000 calories today. The Apple Watch might say you burnt 100, 850. So it undershoots your calorie burnt for the day, which is great because I'd rather, especially if I'm trying to focus on losing weight, be under my calorie uh, burnt for the day, meaning that it's actually telling me I burnt less than telling me that I burnt more than I actually did. In other words, if the watch is telling you you burned a little less, then actually overshooting, then you're not gonna compensate for the extra calories that you think you burnt that you actually didn't. So I will say that in terms of tracking your steps and your calories during the day, it's a little more accurate and more for my taste in, a, in, in the safety factor that it shoots under as opposed to over. That is if you're trying to lose weight. So other than that, the watch when it works is fantastic. When it doesn't work, it's annoying. And it doesn't really work 60% uh, of the time. The number one feature I will say is the feature that allows you to find your phone. It is, and I'm sorry that I'm not doing it justice, but it's that little button there. 
Anyways, so I just touched it. My phone actually pinged, and the re since I'm recording this on my phone, it shut off. But anyways, that's pretty much the number one thing I use my Apple Watch for. Uh, to be honest, it's just not worth the price. I think it's overpriced by at least $150, and I would just wait. Uh, if you're a stickler for your heart rate and tracking your fitness, especially via your heart rate, um, then I would wait for something else or just stick to the heart rate strap. Honestly, the apps that are available to um, interpret the data that your Apple Watch is accumulating sort of stink. Uh, Moto Actives was phenomenal. My brother has a Mio Go, which I don't act actually like the fitness device, but the information that it provides you based off of the information that it collects is much better than on your Apple Watch. Sorry, uh, I hope actually this saves a lot of people from going to purchase the Apple Watch. Uh, I just don't think it's worth it. Is it one of the most comfortable fitness trackers devices that I've worn? Absolutely. If you're gonna focus on cardio and jogging, purchase it. But if you are into weight training or cross training or CrossFit, I would say not to purchase the Apple Watch. If you're going to use it mainly, uh, or if you have the idea that it's gonna track your fitness, that's it. I'm sorry. I would say not to purchase the Apple Watch for Christmas. That's it for now. This has been Rolando Rodriguez with xgains.com. That's x dash, the uh, symbol, not the word, dash gains.com. Let us know if you got any questions or comments down below. And I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Peace.